I have a lot to learn, so don't judge me on this, but we're all in the same boat when we're just learning. Hey so. guys, welcome back to my channel. I ordered Saint. I've decided to become a rep after, geez, almost a year of being introduced to this product. I thought that I would never do this, but you know what? I want to be able to offer you guys product and help you. And I realized that makeup isn't necessarily everybody's passion and that you might not want to go to Sephora and try all the newest and latest products. You might just want a simple system that you have at home that's going to continuously look good on your skin and be easy to use. So that's why I decided to do this. If you're the type of person that wants all the information on the newest releases and what Sephora has to offer or Ulta or you know whoever sells it, I'm also that person. I look at makeup as a medium, just like paint is to artists. I get really excited when I see new things. So I'm gonna keep myself up to date on as much as I can without breaking my budget. I wanna be able to have all the tools necessary to help you out. And I've decided that Saint Makeup is one of the tools that I wanna to use to be able to help you out and help you feel good and allow you to have a system at home that is very easy to use and looks good on mature skin and young skin. By the way, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie. I've been a professional makeup artist and a licensed hairstylist for over 25 years. I've worked in the film industry. I've worked with professional photographers and I've worked at Sephora. I've worked at Mac. I've, I've worked everywhere. So I have a lot of experience, but I have a lot to learn too. So I'm going to learn this brand with you and have some fun with it. And I hope that you stick with me and we'll figure this out together. All right, I've been waiting to open this in front of you guys. I bit the bullet and is that a saying? I went ahead and bought a kit. I've wanted to unbox this with you and I just haven't had time this week. So this is exciting. I'm gonna put it all together and see what I got. Although I did open the brushes. There were three kits to buy into. There was the basic, the, the middle, and the large one. I decided to get the middle package because I want enough to be able to show you guys, but I didn't want to buy into the whole thing because is that really what I need? I'm not sure. And I can always buy more as I go. In the middle package, I have these two brushes. This is probably what I would use for, hmm, what is this, contour? This is contour and blush, and then does it say? Hmm, doesn't say. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it right. I should watch more videos. <laughs> I'll teach you as I go. They feel really good though. This is softer, so I imagine that this would be a softer blend. And this is firmer. I think you could probably use it for everything. They gave me the palette that has the bottom and the top with the mirror. They gave me a smaller palette, single palette. Oh, two single palettes. Okay, so two single palettes. One that I own before is a double palette. I gotta open it. I see people talking about highlight shade and contour shade and all that stuff. I might be saying the words wrong for anyone that knows Saint. I have a lot to learn, so don't judge me on this, but we're all in the same boat when we're just learning. I may need my glasses for this. The only thing that I wish is that it had the name of the product on the outside. So the name of the product is on this, and then once you put it into your palette, you're not really sure what you're using. So I'm gonna have to memorize. That must be a blush color. Let me see if I can do this in some kind of order. Yeah, I need my glasses. Jeez, am I ever gonna get this makeup on? It does say contour and highlight on the back. I feel like I'm a little confused. Right, so that's wheat. Aha, so it's saying highlight on the back, but this would actually be a foundation color. That's how I look at it anyways. I think of a highlighter as something that you would add at the end to add a bit of sheen, but I understand now what they're saying. So this would be like your cheat color and then I got it. We'll go through it and I'll explain it. Aha, pearl, this is an illuminator. So that's what they're calling their highlight color. So we've got an illuminator, a setting powder. I have an advantage of already knowing what my colors are. So my color is gonna be amber, I believe. It looks dark though, eh? That's walnut. Ooh, that's pretty. In my original kit, I have olive as my contour color. I'll have to play. Maybe I'll use the walnut on this side and the olive on this side. They gave me indigo, which would be great for a darker skin tone. And then they gave me stone. Oh, that's actually good too. That is quite dark for me, but I could make that work as well. I feel like that's the bonus of this makeup. Cream makeup is so easy to blend. So really, if I want to underpaint with this color, which was, what was it? <laughs> uh, stone. If I want to underpaint with this, then that's going to work. This one is called Pink Grapefruit. This one is called Nude. This is me just wanting to play. Before I even put anything on, let's check out this blush. 
that's really pretty. That's pink grapefruit. And then on this side, excuse my bruise and whatever that is. So that's more of a natural color. This would be more of my bronzy look. This is just a lip treatment over top of pink grapefruit. I like multi-use products. You'll see me do that a lot, whether it be with this brand or another brand. Let's get this off. This is Venice and this one's Hollywood. I dug my nail into it, so don't pay attention to that, but this looks really pretty. I'm gonna switch this one over to this side. What one am I gonna use today? Didn't give me any demis with that package. This one's called Cinnamon and that's not gonna be for me, so I'm gonna put that back. This one's called June. Hmm, let me put Amber beside that one actually. Oh, I think, no, I think this one actually works better. That's Amber. This one's called Papaya, again for a darker skin tone. I love that this line is inclusive as it should be. This is called Goddess for a darker skin tone for sure. This one's called Mango. This one's obviously not a match, good for darker. This one is called White Peach. Oh, that one's really pretty too. I think this one would be really good for my daughter. I'll have to get her sitting in my chair. My blush is throwing me off. Yeah, definitely too light though. This one's called Moonlit. Let's put it right here. Actually, this one would be for my daughter, I think. Believe it or not, I can believe it. Look at my fingers, they're actually light. All my self tan has worn off, so that'll give you an idea. Did I already show you Ash? This is another potential contour color for me. This one's Aura. I love how I'm doing this without watching a video. It's just my style, guys. I just jump in and then I learn about it later. I have an idea. My face is different from my chest, but I wanna show you what it looks like here. So this is Candlelit. This is Amber. The same amount would be nice. This one is June. I'm also gonna do white peach. I'm not gonna take my Saint brush because I wanna use that for my face to blend this in. Let me use another one. So, what did I say this one was? <laughs> That's candlelit. Blended. That actually blended really nice. I'm gonna use different brushes to make sure that they don't mess each other up. This one is amber. Look at me, I did remember. They really go quite sheer, eh? This one is June. They are really disappearing, but I feel like this one's definitely too light. I think what this shows is that they're quite sheer, so it's pretty hard to make a mistake. And this is the lightest one that I tried, which is this one's white peach. So I can definitely see that on my chest. That was a great idea, but let me try it on my face now. This is just gonna be for color because I have to prep it, so don't judge any texture if there's texture there. Here we go again. <laughs> so we've got Candlelit. This is gonna be Amber. And I'll do the other color on this side. This is where being a freckled redhead changes things. So I like Amber better where I'm red, because that little bit of yellow actually counteracts the red. But is it too yellow here? I don't know. When you're doing somebody's makeup or your own, you have to look at the whole body. This is why I have a tank top on. I want to be able to see what's happening. You don't want a floating light head or a floating dark head. You know what? I could do both. By the time I add the contour and the bronzer, it actually would blend in just nice. So don't judge it before you blend it. Now I want to try that last color, which was this will be white pearl on this side, and that's really clearly too light for me, but it's nice to see what that will actually do. This is light and I would say neutral. So this is a no for sure, and this side I can do both. So that's good. I missed a color. Yeah, I missed June. Okay, let's do June. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know. Do you know what's nice about this one? Um, I don't see a lot of yellow. It is canceling out my red. And I think it works with everything. No, I think June might be my color. 
Crazy, eh? It's so subtly different though. So it's June against Amber. I really see a lot of yellow when I'm looking at Amber. That's maybe a little too much. Just gonna pat it in. A little bit goes a long way. I don't know. You guys, I need help. I like both. Oh, I didn't even prep my skin. Hey, that's not bad. Look at how good that's going on. But you need to prep. I can't go out like this. I always bug my daughter for taking her makeup off with micellar water and not actually washing it off. Cause that has suds, you know, look it. I don't want that left on my face. So normally I would cleanse it right off, but I'm in a hurry. So I'm taking a toner. This is the Glow Toner by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm getting all of that soapy stuff off. It's not water, it's soapy. Now I'm gonna put this on for real. First, I wanna hydrate. I'm gonna use the closest thing to me and that is the Hyaluronic Acid by Inky List. This is so inexpensive and it's good. Ah, oh, that feels good. I'm actually gonna put some Magic Serum on as well. I'm gonna let that soak in. And I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Enrich Blech. Vitamin Enriched Face Base. That's this one. Took me three times to say that. My brows feel so much better, by the way. I tinted them last night. Yay. I can also see where I need to pluck. By the time I get out of here, I'm not gonna need sunscreen and I'm going to an indoor restaurant, so I'm not gonna bother. So I really feel like June is gonna work for me. Now I'm gonna use the new brush. I'm gonna use this fluffy side. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but that's what I'm doing. So this is June. I'm just gonna tap it where I'm the reddest. This is really where I need the most coverage, right there, you see? You don't need a whole lot. And blend. Yeah, that's perfect because I didn't put anything here and that matches perfect. I am a little bit red right here though, so I'm gonna pull it down there. But if I didn't want to, I wouldn't have to. My nose is the worst and my chin. Wonder why they don't give demi colors in that kit. Cause I'm gonna use a demi right here. I hope you can see how little I have on. Last video I did, I used this lighter color underneath my eye, but I'm actually gonna go straight in with this peach color because I have blue right there and the peach counteracts blue. And I don't really want, yeah, see that works. So that's this eye and that's this eye. I can see the difference, I hope you can. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm just gonna put it in the outer corner here. Well, maybe I'll dip in a little bit more. Okay, I've been out in the kitchen for a bit talking to my son, so let's see how this is sitting. Looks really good. Now I need to add some color. Oh my God, you guys. I wasn't filming. I just put bronzer on <laughs> and I used pink grapefruit. Ah, oh, I'm so upset with myself. Well, anyway, I think you guys get the idea. This might be a long video anyway. I can't believe I did that. I hope I got the rest of it. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna go ahead and use Bobbi Brown Cream Eyeshadow Sticks because these are so fast. And I don't have any Saint eyeshadows. This dual-ended shadow stick is so handy, by the way. Put that on, blend it all out before it sets. A little bit of liner, same color. This color is Pink Mercury, by the way, and Nude Beach. Goes with the theme of my makeup, I think. Nice and soft. Curl the lash. 
If I sit here long enough, the mascara will just jump out at me. Oh, there, see? <laughs> if you didn't see my little short video, this is the Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara. So good. I've used it a couple of times. I didn't have any flaking and it was easy to come off. Second coat. All right, I think my pores even look good. Let me just show you up close. Don't mind the bruise. I don't know when that mark's gonna go away either, but looks good. Oh, brows. Freshly tinted brows make a world of difference. Goodness. I hardly have to pencil my eyebrows in anymore. A little bit of powder. Just where I need it. Because I really want to see how this lasts. Remember guys, I have a normal to dry skin, more dry, but I look after it. So it presents as normal. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just came up with that right now. So the cool thing about this whole video is that I can actually offer you Saint Makeup now. And that's awesome. I'm always sending you off to Sephora and Ulta and Shoppers Drug Mart if you're here in Canada or Boots if you're in the UK. And now I can actually offer you something. So never any pressure. I love all makeup. If this isn't for you, then you know, it isn't for you. But if you are interested in purchasing any Saint makeup, I can do that for you. I'm gonna leave a link in my description box for you. And I do have help. I am new to this, but I do have help from Michelle who I've signed up under and she can help me color match for you. She's very experienced. I hope this helps. I love the way my makeup looks. My skin looks and feels great. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button before you leave and ring the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!